about 10.30 right now, and it's already in the... feels like it's in the 80s right now. It's supposed to get up to near 90 again. Oh, summertime heat. How I loathe you. I'm heading over to Best Buy right now to see if I can find the find a, a quiet place on this, on Blu-ray. Hopeful I can get the Steelbook version that they have, but considering how, how they order Steelbooks at Best Buy, there's a slim chance I'm probably going to get that, so it'll probably just end up being the regular version, but... You never know. Keep your fingers crossed. Because those yellow lines are just so hard to see. Like, seriously, who does that? Thank you for keeping your fingers crossed. <laughs> Look at how close I am to the screen. So I actually just finished doing a Stardust review inside the theater, which is something I have never done before. But considering that there's nobody here just yet, give it time. Still about a half hour left before the movie starts. It's surreal to be singing such an iconic Disney song. So yeah. It was weird doing a Stardust uh, review here in the theater. But yeah, I just saw Size of the Skyscraper. I really didn't like it. I was really bored by this movie. Like all the action sequences, the best stuff that, that was already in the tra was already in the trailer. Plus, it's a generic action film, like a Die Hard knockoff. You can actually, is you could tell what the twists and turns were going to be. You could tell where everything was going to go. And you just never like any of these characters. You don't like Dwayne Johnson, one of the most charming and charismatic people on the planet, and you don't do anything with him. You may and you don't even use his full New capabilities as an actor and use it to affect this movie. Like no and it just the doesn't DRK work. It just doesn't work as a movie. I was very disappointed one. coming into this film. I wanted it to be good, but Pittsburgh. yeah, I really didn't like it. So I'm right now waiting for Hotel Transylvania 3, so hopefully that will be a better experience. Guys, it's an LG. I get it. What's it going to take for you to switch? Seriously, Ryan, what do you need? A selfie? Sure. Hey, and Google, fuck it, I'll switch from her. Stuff like that. 
Ja, ich habe ja nicht so weit mehr. Das ist das mal mein Ding, by the way. That's nothing in there. Time for door number two. Quick recap of the stuff I bought today. Of course, I bought the steel book for one of my favorite movies of the year so far, Quiet Place. John Krasinski, Emily Blunt. 
picked it up at Best Buy. I was so happy that they actually had the Steelbook version of this. I really wanted this Steelbook. I mean, look at that. You can actually feel, like, the claw marks on there from whatever the, from the creature. So, yeah. Quiet Place, one of my favorite movies from this year. Will be one of my favorite movies from this year. But when I also got home... This was just a, this is just a pre-order ticket for Madden 19. If the camera will, there we go. So there's that. But when I came home, there were also some packages for me from Amazon. So let's go ahead and open these up real quick. So first up in there was Yogi's Great Escape, which is one of the Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 DVD sets. Well, not DVD sets, the movies from the 1980s that Hanna Barbera did for like the syndicated TV networks and all that. So that's one of the movies there. I also got Magical Flight of the Spruce Goose earlier in the week. And I'm going to review these movies later on. Sometime later this year or maybe next year. All the movies in the Hanna Barbera Superstars 10 series. So that's the reason why I picked that up. But I also picked up Speechless Seasons 1 and Season 2. And lastly, is The Exorcist Season 1. There we go. The Exorcist Season 1. And The Exorcist Season 2. So those were the DVDs that was in that box down here. Now let's check these, te these packages here. Alright, this right here is the Pro Bowl 26, which is also a Le'Veon Bell t-shirt. This was, this was, I believe, 35 on Amazon, so this is where I picked this up. But this is one of the t-shirts that I got. I have another one coming for Antonio Brown from the NFL Shop website in a couple of days, so hopefully that gets here pretty soon. But I also picked up... Okay, strike that. This is actually the Antonio Brown shirt that I was talking about that I said it was coming in a couple of days. This is the one this is the shirt I got from the NFL Pro Shop, which was fifteen bucks. I'll turn it over real quick. There it is, number eighty four, A B, my man. But no, this wasn't the shirt I was talking about. I did buy another shirt from Amazon, which was a Juju Smith Schuster Pennsylvania shirt. I'll go ahead and show you it real quick on the Amazon website. Yeah, this is the shirt that's coming. Hopefully sometime in the next couple of days or so, I hope. But yeah, this was the shirt I thought was in that in that bag, but... So there you go, there's that other shirt I bought. And that right there completes my purchases for today. There we go. 